My name's Louise and today I'm going to be teaching Moomin, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier here, she's one years old, how to hold an object using a clicker. Moomin's already trained using the clicker so she's fully used to it, um, but if your dog isn't you need to start right back at the beginning and get your dog used to what the clicker means, that it means it's marking the correct behaviour and the dog's going to get a reward. But Moomin knows exactly what the click means, don't you? So the other objects we're going to need are some treats. I'm going to be using cheese because Moomin really likes cheese. And I've got a simple plastic dumbbell here and we're going to train Moomin to pick up the dumbbell using the clicker. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my treats out of reach. And I'm just going to put the dumbbell on the floor and any attempt she makes to go near the dumbbell, I'm going to reward her. Good girl. And she gets a treat. Good girl. So every time she even looks at the dumbbell or takes an interest, I'm going to reward her because that's a really good thing. Good girl. Well done. If she starts to lose interest in the dumbbell, I can pick it up again and place it down. Good girl. And she picked it up so she gets her reward. Good girl, well done. Good girl. So just waiting for her to make that decision to pick it up and she's quite a quick learner so she's already learnt if she picks up that dumbbell she hears the click and she gets her treat. And gradually what we're going to do now she's already picking up the dumbbell is we're going to hold off that treat for a little bit longer so she holds on to it and then reward her. Good girl, well done Moomin. Just wait, see what her choice is. Good girl, well done. So if your dog's not really keen on picking up the dumbbell, you can move it about a little bit to make it more exciting so the dog might want to then hold the object. So I'm going to move it about so it becomes very exciting and then place it down. And she pick it up. Good girl, well done. So again, I'm going to move it about a little bit, place it down, see if she picks it up and reward her for holding it. Good girl. And then gradually I'm going to build it up. So if she picks it up, I'll say the word hold, click and reward her. See what choice she makes. Hold it, click and reward her. Good girl. So your click is like your release command. So at this stage, if she drops the dumbbell, it's not a problem. See if she picks it up. This time I'm going to see if she'll hold it if I put my hand out. So she's not getting her click, so I want to be able to put my hand out. Good girl. So she's learning that I can put my hand there and she still holds on to that dumbbell. Good girl. If she loses interest, just move it about a little bit and wait for her to hold it. See if I can touch it. Stroke her and reward. Good girl, super girl. Again, move it about a little bit. Hold it. See if I can touch it and reward. Wait for her to pick it up again. So she gets no reward for that because she just picked it up and spat it out. And reward her. Good girl. So that is the basic steps to building up, getting your dog to hold an object. Once you've taught them to hold one object, then you can move on to different sorts of objects. Um, as soon as she's doing it, I'm going to then get her to do it on cue. So I'll put it down, move in, hold. Hold it, good girl, and reward her by using a click. So you can start to add in that verbal cue. So Moomin's next step now will be to work on holding different objects. So happy training with your dogs. Good luck with getting them to practice holding articles. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.